uh, according to you, why the it's most uh, Bangladesh uh, Vietnamese because uh, uh, two EUs uh, decrease uh, in yeah, yeah well, in the fourth year. Yeah. Well, one of the challenges for the exports of Pangasius from Vietnam, to, especially to Europe, is that the product suffers from uh, quite some challenges regarding the reputation. People are concerned about the product. How much water does it contain? Does it contain any chemicals? Is it safe for consumption? So those are questions that are in the mind of the consumer. That makes the consumer, in some countries, in many cases, reluctant to buy Pangasius. So that reputation problem has influenced the decrease in the sales of Pangasius in Europe. Yeah. Uh, uh, what are your recommendations uh, to the uh, Vietnamese export, uh, want to um, uh, export um, Pangasius to EUs? Yeah. Well, it's very important to improve their reputation, to improve the image of Pangasius. One of the ways to do that is to be very transparent, to be very clear about the product. To what extent is there water added? To what extent are there additives used in the product? So to, to give a clear message to the consumer, what is, what is the product actually that they buy? Because now some sources in the European market say that the Pangasius is contaminated, that there are chemical residues in the fish, um, that uh, the polluted uh, water from the Mekong River is uh, bringing damaging substances in the fish. So the, to the consumer, that is a concern. They are worried. So what they need is clear information about the safety of the product, about the way it is being produced, about the amount of water and chemicals that may be in the fish. So a good communication for uh, around Pangasius is essential to regain the trust of the consumer. And an ASC certification, for example, and a clear labeling of the product will certainly help because then the consumers will understand that the farmers produce responsibly and that the processors, they manufacture the product in accordance with the regulations in Europe, that it is a safe product. So communication is very important. Promotion is very important to promote the Pangasius as an easy, convenient fish that is not only tasted, tasty, but also safe and responsibly produced. So a joint promotion by the entire sector, that they join hands and that they support the promotion campaign that we have at the moment under youreverydayfish.com. It's an initiative by FASEP and the Dutch government, the Center for the Promotion of Imports from Developing Countries, the support of the sector for that promotion campaign will be very important. Yes, yes. I'm confident. I'm confident that uh, Pangasius can compete because it has been shown in the past. People in the US and Europe, they like Pangasius. There has been a big increase in consumption of Pangasius over the last 10, 15 years. So obviously the people, they like the fish. The, the problem is the concern about pollution of the fish, contamination, and the water content. So if you take those concerns away, I'm sure that uh, the consumption of Pangasius will grow again. It can certainly compete with other types of fish. You're most welcome.